एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम dear students welcome to s chand academy in the last part of our video we discussed about the reading comprehension in detail what are the different kinds of comprehension passages how do we answer them and how do we improve our reading comprehension skills is what we discussed in this part of the video we'll discuss in detail about pressy writing what a pressy writing is what is the relevance and how to achieve uh, effectiveness in writing a pressy is what we are going to talk about Hello students welcome to Aschand Academy I'm Dr Vidushi Bhardwaj if you wish to learn more about vocabulary building sentence construction all the technicalities of grammar reading comprehension parts of speech sentence construction you may refer to English for engineers which is a wonderful book which will cover all the aspects we have already discussed and of course the uh, the book has a lot of examples where you can practice and this will help you improve your vocabulary as well the ebook link of this book has been given in the description box you can refer to it so uh, talking about a pressy first of all the pronunciation is not presses this s is silent it should be pronounced as a pressy so a pressy writing is a skill you know it's a skill in itself which which means summarizing or it's a process which involves summarizing a piece of text in a clear concise and accurate manner while preserving the original meaning that is something we have to be very sure about we cannot alter the meaning of the text we cannot add anything of our own we cannot add our own personal prejudices or our own ideas and opinions in the given piece of essay and it is a useful skill uh, you know which is which is required in professional settings especially because if you are working in an organization tomorrow you may have a lot of information with you in terms of a text you may have to you know summarize the entire text into the uh, shorter version maybe one third of the original text so what are the skills required to achieve this perfection so you should know how to condense this lengthy and complex information in a shorter more manageable form it's a skill in itself because number one the original meaning cannot be changed number two the important facts cannot be removed number three the sequence of ideas given in a pressy cannot be changed at all so it's a written communication category that involves summarizing into a concise form right it it is something which is uh, you know which gives a sense to the original work you have to retain the meaning of the original text and of course uh, it should be something where the readers feel interested in reading about it even without reading the original text i should be you know uh, i should be the one who should get the gist of the entire document so read how does it you know happen now you have to read the original text multiple times in order to fully understand the author's main ideas and arguments that's the first step so if i am given one document which is for say 6 pages long and i have to summarize the entire document in two pages i cannot do that i cannot achieve that till the time i read the original document at least 6 times so once the main ideas have been highlighted have been identified then you have to summarize them in a way that it is both concise and accurate so take a pen note down the important points mark down the important points make a summary you know make a rough sheet write down the points there with your own pen and paper and of course then you can rephrase the content in the desired you know length so so uh, this process of pressy will involve reading uh, the original text multiple times okay and then rephrasing the contents uh, content in your own way probably making notes you know then writing your own way and then retaining the original meaning is important here you cannot add anything new of your own so a well written pressy should be clear concise precise brief 
and of course easy to understand while conveying the author's message and tone. It should be written in a way that is free of personal biases and opinions as already discussed, but it's a very useful skill which can be you know, achieved with a lot of practice and uh, we, we use it most probably for the professional settings, academic settings and uh, it can be used to summarize some research studies, some news articles, some legal documents and many other types of written content. So, uh, you know, when you are writing a research paper, you are writing an abstract or some kind of a summary of the paper, that's also a presi. So, what are the steps? That is what we need to understand before you practically jump into, you know, the pool of water to learn swimming. You should know the technicalities of swimming. That is why we are discussing the steps in presi writing if you have to start writing a presi uh, clearly. So, read the original text carefully and identify its main points and arguments. Note down with your pen. Identify the author's purpose and tone as well. If he has given any supporting documents, some kind of examples that you should also note down. Write a rough draft of your presi. No presi, final presi can be written in one go. There would be a rough draft. Okay, and then you can summarize the points. Revise your presi to ensure that it accurately converts the author's intended meaning. Do not give your own meaning on your own. Do not give any new ideas. Okay. And most importantly, edit your presi for grammar, spelling and punctuation errors. Grammatical accuracy is important here because that will tell volumes about you that you have not taken any attention. You have not paid any attention to the while drafting the presi. So what are the tips? Keep it concise. That's very important. Short and specific. Maximum possible information, minimum possible words. One third of the original text. Be objective. Do not use personal biases. Avoid personal biases. Uh, so if you are writing a pressy on something, uh, you know, like uh, CAA, anti-CAA protests, for example, so your own biases and opinions will not matter here. It's all about the fact that what you read in the original text and how are you summarizing. Okay. Use the present tense. Even if the original text was written in the past tense. This helps to make the summary more immediate and engaging. Use transitional words and use the author's own words as much as possible while summarizing the main points of the text. So as far as possible, tell the readers that you have read the original text very carefully and that is how you are summarizing. So let us take this example now. It's a very short passage. In the 21st century, technology has revolutionized the way we communicate. Social media platforms, like Facebook and Twitter have made it easier than ever before to connect with friends and family as well as share news and information with the global audience. Now this is the original text. Now since the original text itself is pretty short, but we have to make sure that the pressy has to be very concise in terms of hitting upon the main idea. So instead of this, we can rephrase the advent of social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter has transformed the way people communicate in 21st century. The entire impact is on the social media platforms. These platforms allow individuals to easily connect with friends and family and share news and information with the global audience. So if you see the meaning, the meaning does not change, but the style of presentation in terms of conciseness and brevity has changed. Let us see the next one. Climate change is one of the greatest challenges facing the world today. Rising global temperatures, melting ice caps and more frequent extreme weather events are just some of the impacts of this phenomenon. Urgent action is needed to address this problem and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Now this original text is in the quotations. Now, when a pressy is written, we can rephrase. Climate change is a major global challenge that is causing rising global temperatures, melting ice caps and more frequent extreme weather events. So what we did was we took out the important words, keywords from the original text, which will support 
our argument that climate change is a major global challenge so we took our took out the keywords like global temperatures melting ice caps and frequent extreme weather events and we reduce the length of the passage so addressing this problem requires urgent action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and we have removed all that which is unnecessary in the original text so with this we come to the end of pressy writing where we discussed as to how to achieve brevity and conciseness in summarizing a given passage or the original passage where we uh, we we should know what are the important details which have to be taken from the original text and which are the things which we can remove from the original text one thing has to be kept in mind that our pressy has to be unbiased no new information has to be added no new facts have to be added in the pressy whatever is there in the original text has to be retained so as to give clarity to the meaning what the author intends to say with this we come to the end of this video if you wish to learn more about vocabulary building sentence construction all the technicalities of grammar reading comprehension parts of speech sentence construction you may refer to english for engineers which is a wonderful book which will cover all the aspects we have already discussed and of course the uh, the book has a lot of examples where you can practice and this will help you improve your vocabulary as well the ebook link of this book has been given in the description box you can refer to it if you like the video please like share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell to get updates about the future videos All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.